Procedure for Colorectal Stent Placement Aegis colonic stents may be used for the palliation of obstructing colorectal carcinoma, for decompression prior to surgery, or for focal strictures caused by other pelvic malignancy. There are four types of Aegis colorectal stents. The most popular stent is the double bear Aegis because of its excellent conformability and resistance to migration. Tubular gold markers on the stent increase radio opacity and visibility on fluoroscopy. A hydrophilic guide wire is recommended for crossing the stricture, but a stiffer wire is required for stent replacement. Combination wires with a stiff shaft and a hydrophilic tip avoid the need for wire exchanges. The length of the wire and catheter must be matched to the endoscope. If a sigmoidoscope is used, an angiographic catheter may be sufficient, but a longer ERCP catheter and wire will be required for use with a full-size colonoscope. The procedure may be performed under endoscopic or fluoroscopic control. This presentation illustrates endoscopic stent placement. A catheter is placed at the lower end of the stricture and a contrast medium injected to identify the position and length of the stricture. With the use of a hydrophilic wire, the stricture is crossed and the upper end further delineated through injection of contrast. The stent should be chosen to exceed the stricture at both ends by at least 1 to 2 centimeters. After placement of a 0.035 inch stiff or nitinol wire, the delivery system is advanced through the stricture. Ideally, this is done through a large working channel, but the endoscope may be removed and placement performed over the wire only. Radio opaque gold markers allow accurate stent positioning on fluoroscopy. A yellow marker on the delivery system allows deployment under endoscopic control. The stent should extend beyond the edges of the strictures by at least 1 to 2 centimeters. Most stents will not expand fully straight away as the shape memory is activated on warming to body temperature. Stents will continue to expand over several days and balloon dilation is not usually required. Your local SNG Biotech representative will be more than happy to answer any questions and provide assistance if required. Thank you.